we are just joined by Karthi Chidambaram. Mm -hmm. uh, because Karthi Chidambaram of the Congress has been tweeting saying there's a difference between North and South. The fact, Mr. Chidambaram, is you're holding on to the consolation of Telangana on a day when the BJP scored a hat trick of victories. So, and, and if this continues in the 2024 general elections, then it's game, set, and match to the BJP once again. So, what tweet of mine are you referring to? I was told that you, uh, uh, you're effectively saying there's a north-south divide. It's south. There is your tweet playing out. I've never said anything like that. Where have I... I I've, I've, what, is, what does my tweet say? You say the south. Yeah, that is my first word into a word. The south, that was the first word I used in Wordle today. So are you... But do you so accept why are you that there is... My, why are you reading so much into... What... what why are you All right, reading okay, Mr. Mr. Chidam, much tell more us than something. what is written in my tweet? Okay, oh. Mr. Chidam, tell us something. Okay. Forget yes. about reading into your tweets. How do you read into a three-state washout where the Hindi heartland is concerned for the Congress, sir? I think the import of the victory in Telangana, unfortunately, is getting dampened by what's happened in the Hindi heartland. The, if the Telangana result had been a standalone election, it would have been as stellar as the Karnataka results. But unfortunately, today, it's been uh, drowned because of the three other results which have come from the Hindi heartland. I understand that the politics of each state is different. The reasons why the BJP has won in each of the states could be completely different. I really have no first-hand knowledge of the ground realities. I only rely on feedback from my party colleagues from the three states. In uh, Rajasthan, we were the incumbent government and the the rule of thumb there is every five years there is a flip. So this has not been a big surprise that this has also happened now. And in Chhattisgarh, we were very, very hopeful. We had a very popular chief minister and we were very hopeful to coming back to office. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. And I and as many of my party colleagues were all surprised by the results in, in Chhattisgarh. In Madhya Pradesh, uh, while a section of the party was very confident, but there seems to have been other sections which were not so confident of what's going to happen in Madhya Pradesh. And uh, it's been a resounding victory for the BJP. So each state would have a, a different reason why the result happened. Um, they could, I, I'm not suggesting that there can't be a common theme between the three states, but there could also be very differing reasons why the results in the three but, states were. But as I but said, all this is drowning the stellar performance of the, of the Congress, which was, uh, which was written off just even a few months ago, saying that we were a no-hoper in Telangana. We have had a tremendous victory there and a resurgent victory there. And that, that unfortunately, that's a, that bright sparkle in bloom is not being uh, acknowledged enough. But Mr. Karthi Chidambaram, here's a data point. Since 2011, since Tarun Gogoi got re-elected in Assam, you have never won a major, you've not got re-elected in a major state. The BJ, no, the I'm, BJP has got re-elected in Madhya Pradesh, it's got re-elected in UP, it's got re-elected in Uttarakhand, it's got re-elected in Haryana. There is clearly a distinction between the BJP's ability to capitalize on pro-incumbency and the Congress's failure. Will the Congress introspect? Will there be some accountability? I'm or aware. is it business as usual saying we won of Telangana, mm -hmm. all is well? No, no. No, no, just because I acknowledge the victory of Telangana and I, I, I find a sparkle in today's news, it does not mean we won't introspect, it does not mean we won't analyze the data, it does not mean that we won't uh, you know, do course correction, it does not mean that we will sharpen our communication, it does not mean any of that. You know, the data is just coming in. You know, I, mean, I don't think we have but Mr. Uh, the full data is is available there, at the moment. And but I sir, mean, is there are, at least acceptance with one fact? that the Congress has completely come to zero grips when it comes down to the Hindi heartland. South, you say it's a sparkle, where Telangana, yes, well-deserved win. No, but when it comes, is there acceptance finally that you're losing the narrative where the Hindi heartland is concerned or you're clueless when it comes to it? See, I'm not a native Hindi speaker, so my understanding of Hindi heartland politics is rather limited. And I don't have first-hand knowledge or experience in dealing with Hindi heartland politics. Obviously, uh, there is a, 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 the BJP is, is, is stealing a march over us in the Hindi heartland politics. And the people who, who, who are uh, actually handling the affairs of the party in those areas 
are the ones who we must really uh, introspect and make course correction and which we will. We are a mature political party. We will adapt. We will uh, introspect. We will analyze and we will react. I mean, it's not as if we are an unthinking bunch of people. We are a thinking bunch of people. We understand what's happening and we accept it. I mean, sometimes, I mean, I am a sportsman. Sometimes, you, you, know, you, know, you know, the odds are against you and you, you go through a streak in which you're not winning. But you, you, you innovate, you find ways, you grit it out and you stand there. You know, you don't okay, concede so and walk away. I understand the, the odds we are fighting against. So, in conclusion, will you accept that 2024 appears more and more a done deal? That it is advantage BJP. Will you concede that advantage BJP if not a done deal? You see, the 2018 election results, the, in, of the assembly election results, did not reflect in the 2019 parliamentary polls. So I was not going to read the 2023 assembly results as, a, as some sort of a reflection of the 2024 elections. But I understand what we are facing in the Hindi heartland. We all acknowledge what's happening in the Hindi heartland. We are aware of our performance in the last two parliamentary elections there. And we are also aware of what has, what has happened today. We will take everything into account and we will do everything possible to correct course and to communicate better and to, and to, and to stick to our and, and, and to come up with a narrative which will capture the imagination of the people in the, in the heartland. Okay, let's leave Mr. it there. Mr. Tidwai wants to ask the question. Yes, go ahead, Rashid. Today, uh, Rahul Gandhi has said that his fight uh, for a Congress ideology will continue. What is this Congress ideology? Because in Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh and all, there was a pronounced, uh, you know, focus on uh, positive Hindutva or something like that, a soft Hindutva. No, no, our, our ideology is, is a, you know, apart from the secular plank, is also egalitarian growth. It is not. Uh, it is not about just growth for the in mean, a statistical level, which is only skewed at the top. It's egalitarian growth, carrying every section of society. So every section of society is equally benefited from the growth which okay. of the economy and uh, the uh, and the, the prosperity of India. It's an egalitarian society, an equal society, and a just society, where the rule right. of law will apply to everybody equally, and uh, the, and there will be no fear of favor in uh, in, in applying the law. And it will be a secular, when I say secular, a government which will not favor anyone or discriminate against anyone else because okay. of their faith, gender, or, or, or any other orientation. All right, Mr. Chudamri, we're going to let it be. Uh, congratulations on Telangana. You said you will introspect where it comes down to the Hindi heartland, but uh, maybe it will go Thank beyond you. that on what has been lip service uh, of the last time for a robust opposition. Appreciate you joining us, uh, Mr. Chudamri. With that,